but I know guys that can literally drink these down in the drive-thru. If there's a line, I know a dude that could suck down a whole Frappuccino and he'll come back through to get the second one because he drank it too fast and he feels like he needs another one. You putting this on top of the sloppy, disgusting, body-slammed food that you just ate is doing nothing for you at all. And I hate it so much. What I eat in a day, what I eat in a day, what I eat in a day. Hi guys, welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day. Remember, I'm fat and I don't eat healthy. Today for breakfast, I made some homemade chicken and yoki soup. It was my very first time making chicken and yoki soup, and I did a hell of a job. So if y'all want the recipe, just let me know. Anyways, I know this is a drink and not an eat, but I just had to show y'all. This is H-E-B's Fresh Squeezed Cherry Limeade, and if you see this at H-E-B, trust me, you're going to want to grab it. <sighs> Today for lunch, I had Subway. You know, I, I, I don't think, as much as I know a lot of people go to Subway, and a lot of people really do enjoy Subway, for me, anytime I've ever gone to Subway and I see those trays of food all across like the things and they go, what you want, dog, what you want? And I always look at that food and I go, how long has this been sitting out for? Because I know it's probably been here for at least a few hours. And granted, I've eaten pizza off the floor and I've eaten pizza off the floor that's been there for like three days. No, let me stop. I, had, I ate pizza off the floor that was there for a day and a half. And I had no issues with that. But... I only ate that because I didn't really have a choice not to, right? Like I was going to eat that or something else and it was probably worse to eat the other thing that was something else. But if I'm going out to eat, why the fuck would I ever go and get your food that's been sitting out in these hot ass trays for like the past nine hours, right? Am I wrong in saying that, dude? Let me know. Let me know down below what you guys think. Um, I am a fan of eating sandwiches with fries, so I can't hate on her decision to have a little bit of Cheetos on the side. Uh, I will also say though, having the Cheetos that are just sliding off into the, the Cheeto dust here with your hair. Not good. Not not a good thing. And then also right here. I don't know. I just hate it. I hate it so bad. This girl right here is, I just, I cannot believe anybody has such great eyebrows, right? The best eyebrows and the worst face piercings I've ever seen in my life. A foot long of tuna on Italian herb and cheese bread. With Can't you just make the tuna at yourself though? Like, well, how much did you pay for this? Like eight, nine dollars for this tuna sandwich? Couldn't you just, hear me out on this, go to the supermarket, right? You can get a can of tuna for two bucks at most and you get that can of solid white albacore tuna and then you get that little bit of mayo and then you get your own bread for, I don't know how much it rolls, dude, three bucks for some rolls. Right there, you get all those rolls and you get more tuna fish from whatever this is and then also the ingredients is just like what onions and lettuce dude you can make it yourself it, you don't need to go i don't know why people do this like getting tuna is blasphemous go get like a meatball or like a a, a, a philly cheesesteak or something like that anything but tuna tuna is too easy to make way too easy to make dude american cheese spinach lettuce onions cucumbers bell peppers banana peppers jalapenos parmesan cheese okay. and some ranch jesus along with my subway sandwich i'm also having a bag of cheese cheetos i also ordered a broccoli and cheese soup Damn. but it looked kind of funky yeah and no shit dude I, I say this too much dude subway i think is they don't they don't put quality into their food that's just been sitting there for probably nine ten hours that day and you're just eating the leftovers man that day they made that stuff or they they got i don't know if they actually even make the food can somebody let me know down below if you ever worked at subway or you have like the insider information do they cook this food themselves or do they get like the importation of that food and they just heat it up like they'd kind of do with mcdonald's because I'm convinced there's no way that this food is like quality food. Nobody's making this, right? Please, somebody let me know. It tasted even funkier, so I will definitely pass on that. Thankfully, I made all of that soup earlier, so now I'm going to have some for dinner. The last thing that I had for the day was some Starbucks. I ordered myself the double chocolate chip frappuccino, and again, just in case you want to know which one I went to, I went The double chocolate chip frappuccino. How many calories is that? Do you guys want to take bets on how many calories that is? Leave it down below how many calories this double chocolate chip frappuccino is, and then you'll see it right here. 410 to 450 calories. Now, I don't know what size she got here, but that's how much it usually runs. So 410 to 450 calories. That is just useless, by the way. I don't know why so many people set themselves up with so much failure. If your goal here is to get caffeine, right? A lot of people want caffeine throughout their day, which is fine. Go ahead, get your caffeine. Go do it. Slay queen edges, get your caffeine in you. But you're doing it in the worst possible way ever. Like if your goal was to get caffeine, you should be going to the grocery store, buying like the Celsius packets or 10 calories, 10 calories for like a pack that you pour into water. And then you get 200 milligrams of caffeine 
way more than you would get from this, and it's almost no calories, 10 calories, and then you would get your caffeine, it would be right there, and you would it would, it would just be a better package. Instead, you want to get your milkshake, and that's fine. If that's what you want to do, but you're already obese, and I know that you eat like shit already. Why do you have to stack in the drinks as well next to it? Like, it's fine for a normal person. No, I don't even think anybody should, to be honest. Like, I know a guy that literally drinks two or three of these a day. Add that up in a day. He's probably drinking 14, 1,200 calories every single day of just these Frappuccinos. It's too easy for people nowadays to body slam copious amounts of calories from drinks. I, th there's no other way to say it than that. You should not be drinking away your calories. It's way too easy to drink something that has 400 calories as, as opposed to eating something, a quality meal that would run you four to 500 calories. You can literally eat so much food in that 400 calorie stretch as opposed to just going to Starbucks. And a lot of people just run the block on the Starbucks, dude. How fast do you think? Keep it a buck with me. Keep it a buck. Keep it a buck. How fast do you think you can body this? Let me know down below. How fast do you think you can suck this shit down your mouth? I'm going to say right now, two minutes. Two minutes this shit will be done for me. If I was trying, if I wasn't trying probably five to ten minutes, if I was just taking my time and I was putting my sweet lips upon it just to get that sustenance all the way, just to really feel it, then, you know, ten minutes. But I know guys that can literally drink these down in the drive-thru. If there's a line... I know a dude that could suck down a whole Frappuccino and he'll come back through to get the second one because he drank it too fast and he feels like he needs another one. So that's all I'm going to say, bro. Too many calories for nothing. I went to the one by City Base. But like I always tell y'all, that's enough about me. What did you eat today? Bye. Bye. <laughs> Disneyland Adventure. I've, again, I really feel like these people are setting themselves up for failure, dude. Oh, man, her eyebrows are thick. It almost kind of looks like she doesn't even have a gap in between her eyes and this. It's probably because of the lashes. I call the lashes spider legs. Can we just can we just talk about something real quick? I think we have a real problem. I think we have an epidemic right now here in America of girls that have too many nose piercings, okay? I want to look at this girl right here. I want you to acknowledge something right here, okay? Count the nose piercing. One. Two, and I'm pretty sure at some point she had the third one. Why is it that I just looked at two different girls doing the What I Eat in a Day videos and they both have the same piercings here? What is that? How did that happen? Like, is that a coincidence? I hope not. But this is weird. That's all I'm gonna say. And then also going to Disney World. I've never been to Disney World. I've never probably I've never really been to any amusement parks. I used to have this one place here where I lived called um Water Country, and they used to have this really cool, like advertisement that they would have on tv a lot when i was a kid be like water country's very cool spot there's no better place to be in the beyond water country water country have some fun and i'd be like oh yeah fuck yeah dude i'm trying to go to water country bro and i would like i'll be sitting there like trying to serenade my mom like come on dude it's fucking summer dude like we don't have a lot of time like we got to go to water country but i was poor so we didn't go to water country too often and um so that's like the only, and the last time I went there, we went with a group of people, like I was a teenager, I think I was a teenager, and somebody I went with um, went down the water slide, and then like a day or two later when they were, came back, she had a UTI, because I guess they didn't clean out the water or something like that, I don't know dude, um, I never had a UTI ever in my entire life, because my my urethra is like nine times longer than the average penis length, so I don't ever have a problem with that, the, the, the bacteria literally physically cannot come up to my urine urinary track place thing my egg sac or whatever it's called yeah so um i don't know I, I feel like if you're going to disney world though i mean what are you gonna do you can't pack lunches you're gonna look weird as fuck and these people are already super super hyper focused on the way they look so they're gonna eat all the sloppy disgusting food that's probably eight times more money than it would have been if you just went to the grocery store and bought it yourself and cooked it and it would probably be way better too i've seen the burgers at these places they're just regular patties that you can get at the grocery store that you just fry up and then that's all they give you and then you you, you know you pay eight dollars for that and you're happy and then you go back and you buy your churros for like four fourteen dollars then you buy your popcorn for seven dollars and then at the end of the day because you're probably staying there too. You probably ran it up like $700. No, no joke. No joke. No joke. For no calories too. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Wrap. Plant-based icon. Cold brew black calf. My life source. We are literally obsessed. A must. So is this just like... Is this just like a milkshake with some cocoa pebbles on the top? Is that what it is? You, you know, you gotta be a, you gotta feel a real shame to yourself, man. I'm sick of this shit, dude. I'm sick of this. 
being an adult, okay? Get a caffeine addiction. That's all. That's it. That's all we have, okay? Now, I'm not saying you can't enjoy a children's cereal. You can to totally do that. I don't recommend it because the children's cereals are, like, really, really bad for the children already. But here's the thing. At least the children, for the most part, are running around and burning calories that I know you are not. Given the fact that you're sitting down and, like, the most exercise you've probably done this year was walking from one end of the park to the next end of the park in that Disney World that you were just in. So, given that information, I just really think instead of just eating the foods that you grew up on or the foods you know are just fucking terrible, awful foods that are, like... You know, let's be honest, not doing shit for you besides just throwing carbs and sugars in your mouth all day. Instead of doing that, why can't we just have water? What's wrong with water, dude? You ever suck on some good water? You ever just have that sweet, delectable liquid flow off uh, off the faucet right into your mouth? Oh, that shit tastes good in your mouth. Let that hydrate you and not whatever the fuck this is. Look how thick it is, dude. How many calories is this? Somebody let me know down below. How many calories is this? Spooky Rice Krispie Treat. I have been thinking about this for weeks. Damn, you're fat. Some fucking obesity right there, dude. You ain't hitting me with that. The orange sprinkles are so good. Dude, if you're telling me that you've been thinking about a Rice Krispie Treat for weeks... I don't think we could be friends. I think that at that point, I'm kind of reconsidering why I even thought that you were a person that I should be friends with at all. Do you understand how, what the level of obesity that is to where you have to tell me that you've been dreaming about a Rice Krispie treat out of everything? A Rice Krispie treat. Not like a good quality steak, not like a good home cooked meal, not something at a restaurant that you've had maybe once in your life. Nah, dude, a Rice Krispie treat in the shape of M Mickey Mouse? What are we doing? What happened? What happened? That should not be, that should never, ever, ever, those words should never be uttered. They should never be typed. Those words should never exist in the same, in the same sentence. Never, never. And the fact that you just have no problem with it is an issue. Damn, dude. Garlic cheddar bagel twist. Meh. <laughs> I kind of just, I kind of tasted like bread over height. Yeah, bread, but it's got cheddar in there. So how many calories do you think this is? Probably easily five, six, seven hundred calories, all right? The Rice Krispie Treats, people sleep on those. You're looking at two, three hundred calories for those. So in this day alone, I wouldn't even be surprised so far if she's eating over 15, 16, 1700 calories. No joke. For nothing, too. She doesn't even like it. Spicy mac and cheese cone, amazing. So good that Bestie got one this time, too. You're eating mac and cheese out of a cone? I feel like our BC levels through the roof now here in America, dude. Is it is is Disney World just like the con like the concoction of all America's culture together condensed in one area to give you the worst food known to man that probably tastes okay, but realistically it's all like deep fried food and anything can taste good while it's deep fried. I'm sick of people saying, "Oh, you know, deep fried is just deep fried is really good." Deep fried. No, everything tastes good as deep fried, okay? You can't fuck it up. It's literally just batter and deep fried shit. The amount of times I've gone to a place, you know for a fact, if you're getting mozzarella sticks, they're not going to taste bad. If you're getting chicken tenders, they're not going to taste bad because they're deep fried. Anything deep fried is going to taste good, okay? So if you're, if you're concerned about whatever the fuck you're eating, have that person deep fry it and guarantee it's not going to taste bad at all. You could probably... Realistically speaking here, you could most definitely have a dude deep fry like foreskin, like a horse's foreskin, and you would literally love it. You would eat that shit. You wouldn't even know the difference. You'd be just guzzling that shit down your mouth because horses got big schmeeches. So you just, um, 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 oh my God, that shit's so good in my mouth. Whatever that is, I need more of that shit. Please give me that shit. That's you. You're gay. You're gay for eating horse foreskin. <laughs> It's not novel like you Sometimes I think that as adults we kind of like I get it like we miss things that happened in our childhood And maybe you're not able to do certain things when you're a child and then you grow up and you're like fuck that shit I couldn't do it when I was a kid. So I'm gonna do it heavily when I'm an adult, right? I do it I buy all the games that I couldn't buy when I was a kid if you look at my game library It's all games from like 2004 Okay, I don't know. I just like old games and they're the games I couldn't buy. So there you go on that. But when I see adults 
in 2024. And I'm like, what was that? I remember when Toy Story 4 came out and everybody was like super, super hyped for that movie. And then when you went to the theater, there was like three kids because they didn't even know what Toy Story was because they grew up like two days ago. And, you know, you and your fucking best friend are like 34 and you're going to see this movie and you're like, oh my God, Buzz Lightyear, Tim Allen's so great. And I'm just like looking around like, damn, dude, I don't want to be a part of this fucking crowd. Why? This is a children's movie. And there's all like, don't get me wrong. Go ahead and enjoy your shit. But, like, I think to some degree, I don't know why so many adults nowadays have to have so many childhood childhood things be fulfilled for them. And they continuously do it, like, over and over and over and over again. And it's a little concerning. In the same, in the same breath, I'm saying that here. I'm like, what are you doing, man? You know, if you're, like, 28, 29, 30, you're going to Disney World for the experience. Di experience of what? Eating overpriced foods that's been deep fried eight times? Waiting in line for five hours? To rides that you can't even fit because you're too big anyway like it's it's so depressing to even hear those words come out of my mouth now can you imagine actually executing oh oh Baby, show me you can when i eat in a day as a phat girl dude what is this music okay dude calm down with that fucking music quesadillas added salsa of course Damn, dude, what is this background? What is that? I feel like you stole this from, like, a ministry. You know, one thing I will say, like, I know a lot of Mexican people that do have, like, these oriental, oriental, like, fucking Jesus sculptures in their house. I remember one time I went to this guy's house, and his name was David, right? Isn't that cool that me and this guy both have the same David? And I walked into his house, right? And his mom was making some really good food. But I remember I walked in the house, dude. And they were like, oh, you have to take off your shoes, honey. And I was like, oh, yeah, no no problem. I don't ordinarily like taking off his shoes. But it's somebody else's house. Like, what am I going to do? No, fuck you. I'm not taking off my shoes. Mexican people. No. So I took off my shoes. But I remember my friend was like, you want you want me to take off your coat? And I was like, oh, yeah, sure. He's like, yeah, the coat hanger's like behind you. And I turned around. There was a giant, like, Jesus statue on the wall hanging up next to the coat rack. And it was scared the fuck out of me. Like, I'm ordinarily not scared of Jesus. Like, because I think Jesus is probably, like, a really aesthetic being, right? Especially the one, like, the surfer one. I know a lot of people think he's black now and stuff like that. I don't know if he was black or not. But I know he smelled bad because it was, like, 2,000 years ago. But I, like, turned around. I was like, what the fuck is that? And it was a giant, like, statue that was, like, hooked onto the wall. And I was like, that, what is this? He was like, oh, that's Jesus. And I was like, I know. I know it's fucking Jesus. But, like, why do you have it here right in front of the fucking door? And then she was, he was like, oh, yeah, my mom likes to pray pray to it before she leaves the house. And I was like, oh, okay. And then when I walked through the hallway, all across the walls, I was just seeing, like, the, the, the uh, Mary. You know Mary? I saw Mary. And I was seeing other people, too. Like, people that I have not even known about, dude. It was cre It was real creepy. Like, I know... A lot of people, like, it's fine. Go ahead, believe in whatever you want to believe in. But if you have a lot of, like, Jesus memorabilia and, like, the lore behind Jesus and stuff like that, it's going to come off literally so scary to somebody that comes in your house for the first time. They're going to be like, what the fuck, dude? Because it's, uh, I don't know, I, I haven't seen that before. But Mexican, this Mexican family that I knew, great food, but that shit was scary, dude. Scarier than any haunted house I've ever been in. bloom baby greens and superfoods you know what i love about these people so much is that they will mid max so heavily on things that absolutely do not fucking matter at all look at this shit digestion bloating and immunity you don't give a fuck why the fuck does it matter you be you you just body slam thousands of calories in a day what you think this is gonna do this ain't doing shit this is fucking nothing bro this is meant for somebody that literally eats like really good food and at the end of the day they want that little like enhancement you putting this on top of the sloppy disgusting body slammed food that you just ate is doing nothing for you at all and i hate it so much when people have these ideologies of like oh yeah like even though my car is like falling apart let me just buy like this 14 dollar this $14 uh, uh, scented scented thing for my car, air freshener. And I'm just thinking like, dude, you can't even open the door on this side. I have to like come in through the back door and then come up through the center console and then get into the passengers that way. And you you spent $14 on this shit? Yeah, bro, but doesn't it smell better in here? Even though I can't turn, I can never turn off my air conditioner even when it's literally like 20 degrees outside right now. It's okay, bro. Like it's fine, right? No, it's not fine, dude. No, your air conditioner never shuts off. Your door doesn't open. And now you have an air freshener and you think that's good. It's like the same thing here. Why the fuck does it matter? You bought this Bloom Greens and Superfoods for no reason. And you just, you body slammed thousands of calories. 
But, you know, hey, bro, good for you. Drink your greens, 100%. Drink your greens and body slam thousands of calories. Yeah, no, like, just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Like, you have no, you can't do this, bro. You cannot, okay? That's like somebody that's, like, robbing you, okay? And when he's robbing you, he looks inside your bag and he sees, like, you bought, like, oh, what? You bought this? Oh, you fucking disgust. Like, he's robbing you and you have a phone, right? You have an Android. He's like, you fucking broke boy. You dirty, disgusting bro. <laughs> you got no money? Maybe I should give you some of the money that I robbed earlier today. You broke boy. You disgusting broke boy. Metro PCS having no iPhone, bitch. Yeah, that's what it's like here. You're drinking tea. telling You're drinking green shit. Telling people to drink their green shit. And the next shot, you're eating Raising Cane's? Get the fuck off me. Get the fuck off me. You have no room to talk. Ketchup. Not my favorite sauce, but you ate it. That's my, one of my favorite quotes of all time, dude. I love the, I don't like this personally. I think it's nasty, but I'm going to have to eat it. I mean, I have it for a reason, so I'm going to body it, right? If you don't believe me, I mean, look at this, right? Ready? Cane's sauce, not my favorite. I don't like it either. It's just salty ketchup for the most part. And it doesn't look appetizing either. This looks like something a homeless man would puke up. And she says she doesn't like it, but she's going to eat it anyway. You know, like, why Why are you questioning it? Why are you thinking that this girl, our girl right here, wouldn't eat something that she doesn't like? Stop it. You're being really, really facetious right now, thinking that our girl wouldn't eat something she doesn't like. <laughs> dip, dip. Damn, bro. It's not even good, dude. It, it's just it's just really, really expensive chicken tenders that you could just get at the grocery store. You could buy a bag for like nine bucks. I was at the grocery store the other day. I bought three, four bags of uh, chicken tenders because they were six dollars. Yeah, six dollars. And that's going to last me probably a month and a half, maybe two months if I'm if I'm lucky. And this woman probably just spent like 15, 20 bucks on this entire meal for four chicken tenders. Four, and I get in the bag like 20, like 20 chicken tenders. So it's not even, a, it's not equivalent at all. You know, just saying you don't like it and then just body slamming that shit like it's nothing is crazy to me. Closing your eyes is crazy, dude. To body slam that shit be like, oh, oh my God. That is next level. Peep the eyes, ready? Look at that, dude. Oh, pure ecstasy. Pure blissfulness right now. Like, like you've been sucking on ambrosia itself. The sweet delicacy that the gods bestowed upon the earth. Except it's just deep fried potatoes. Fruit punch. Of course, why, why would she drink milk? I mean, why would she drink ever drink water? Or anything like that? Is it free or is it less money? Probably, but no. Fruit punch. <laughs> Crazy, bro. Damn. Damn. Okay, bye. And what is up with these fucking copyrighted songs? Coffee in the morning, drink milk. I don't know why they incorporate these sloppy ass like early 2010 songs as if it means anything at all. Like you're drinking coffee in the morning and you got some kind of like, well, the music's not helping you. It's just, you're just drinking food. You're just eating food. Everybody thinks they're the main character nowadays. Nobody drinks coffee and goes, Oh, oh, it's so nice out today. What are you even looking at when you thought when you saw that? Like, what do you look at the cabinets? Oatmeal with what is this, dude? Neck neckarinis? Neckarinis? What is neckarinis? Brown sugar and cream. <sighs> Body slam dash shit, no problem. Yep, gotta dance for it. Gotta live, give a little a mm, 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 little thing right there, dude. Water, first time for the day. Happy, happy is she's drinking water. Disgusting. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Cream ham and cheese sandwich with a side of coleslaw. Why does it look like that? It looks like fish eggs. Damn. Slow down. 260 calorie Mountain Dew. I have no idea how many... Damn, why does it look like you've been in the dirt all day? What? Why do your hands look so dirty, dude? Do my hands look like that? My hands are clean. Look at that. I know my pinky's fucked up. My pinky is like... It curves in. I don't know what to say, bro. Um, it's it's not. It doesn't look good. 
when I was a kid, I used to try to like, I used to try to like bend it and try to get it like back into shape, but it never went back. So I have a fucked up pinky. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Huh? What can you do about it? Nothing. My pinky's fucked up. What are you going to judge me for that? Huh? You're going to judge me for it. Keep judging me. How many calories is this? Somebody let me know. Body slam. That shit. Why are you smiling every time you body slam some food? It's not that, like, bro, when I'm eating my food, I'm focused. I'm doing other shit. I'm eating my food. I'm looking at other stuff and things like that. I'm, sometimes I might be like, damn, that shit tastes good as fuck in my mouth. But never in my life have I taken a bite of something like, mmm, mmm, that's good. Mac and cheese. Why don't you just get the craft? It's the same shit, right? Just get craft. It's the same thing. You might as well just get that. It's cheaper. And to eat an entire bowl... Can somebody let me know how many calories, like a box of An Annie cheese or whatever this is, Annie's mac and cheese comfort food? You know, just because it's your comfort food doesn't mean you should be eating it. You know that, right? Like, I have a lot of comfort foods, personally. I like sour cream and onion chips. I like uh, toaster strudels, okay? And I like pop parts and things such and so forth. And maybe some fruit roll-ups, too. But, you know, I don't eat them because I know... They're not that good, right? They're not supposed to be delectable. You're not supposed to be eating them very consistently. If you're going to sit there and go, I'm just eating it because it's my comfort food. What other kind of excuses do you need for other food? Like, I'm just eating this because tomorrow is like Christmas. I'm just eating this because it's somebody's birthday tomorrow. At that rate, you just come up with random reasons why you're eating food. Just give it a buck. You wanted to eat the food. You wanted to eat something delicioso in your mouth. So you cooked an entire box of macaroni and cheese. That's probably... Isn't it like a thousand calories for like the Mac Mac and cheese? So you ate in a box. Like I'm putting this at, at least 800, 800 calories easily just for the box. Somebody can let me know though. Let me know down below how many calories this is. More water. I'll give you that one. Cherries are not bad. I'll give her the cherries. Cherries are okay. But she should have started with that instead of eating the entire bowl of macaroni and cheese. I don't know why people smile so often after eating fucking food, dude. Come on. Trisha Paytas. This one doesn't even have audio. Oh, damn. She's got one of those, like, luxury ones. I really, I used to really like Trisha Paytas back in the day, but I haven't watched her recently. Could somebody let me know if she's, like, okay? Um, the last time I watched her was when she had her, her old porn videos. They were all over, like, um, Pornhub and shit like that. I used to, I never, I never beat off to Trisha Paytas, but I have watched a few of her porns, dude. And she's cool. She's good. Um, I used to watch her... Her videos and she used to do demonstrations on the dildos that she would buy. I thought that was cool too. But I was watching it for like information. You know what I'm talking about? Like, oh wow, that magic wand is really cool. That magic wand is the anal beads that you were using last night were atrociously amazing. Wow. I was watching it for like informational purposes. But yeah, she's got like the luxury one. She could put, damn, dude, how many, how many pieces of toast can you put in this? Like four, right? Two and two? Two and two? You know, I love to surf. She looks good here. Trisha, Trisha looks good. Does she lose weight? She looks good. The lipstick is kind of crazy, though. That overline is serious. That overline is serious. Look at where her lips are right here. And then the overline is big as fuck. It looks like you've been sucking off the Kool-Aid, man. Oh, my God. That shit is big as fuck. Fuck! Dude, that overline is serious! Holy shit! I get it, you want more lips than you have, but this is outrageous! Look how much it is! God damn! Just look where it is! So much! Damn! Damn! She already got a big mouth too, bro. Damn, her mouth is big as fuck. How her mouth get that big, dude? That shit was big. Oh, I have it muted. I'm milk <laughs> and cinnamon toast crunch. Don't stop. Okay, food. I know. My boyfriend's. Okay, we're gonna go just... back. If it had audio, then I'm gonna be all right. Then I'm an idiot. Crest. Okay, I'm an idiot. Okay, I didn't know. I didn't know it was muted. Okay, I wasn't looking. I thought that when you turned it up right here, that it would do it, but it doesn't do it like that. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know. All right, forgive me. Milk and cinnamon toast crunch. With some Kool-Aid, 
my boyfriend surprised me with a strawberry shake. Your boyfriend enough. don't care about you, bro. If he's out here buy, buying you that sloppy ass milkshake, dude, how many calories is that milkshake? A couple hundred? A couple hundred calories? Just bullshit? Kool-Aid jammers? Can't have them in my house, dude. I'll be sucking down like 40 of these a day. Kool-Aid. Club sandwich from McAllister's with a pickle and some potato salad. Why can't you just make this at your house? Like, if you have all the ingredients at your house and it's going to be cheaper, why wouldn't you just make it at the house? Because it's cooler to eat it outside, of course. And the best lemonade. One ice cream sandwich. One box. Another Kool-Aid. Ended the day with two packs of Teddy Grahams. You know... It's too many calories, dude. Just useless calories doing nothing for you. This is what I eat in the days of Fat Girl, who is literally just existing. Listen. I think you're doing more than just existing. I don't know why they also they always have to preference their dietary issues with just eat. I'm just existing. I'm just existing, guys. Like, it's not that big of a deal because I'm just living my life. How are you to tell me what I'm doing? is wrong or negative in some way even though i'm posting this video on a public platform and i have my comments on you should automatically know this is my life this is how i live it you should not be upset even though i'm body slamming literally thousands of calories a day this is just my life hashtag pretty girl hashtag mean girl hashtag i do it better hashtag we wear pink on wednesday then if you've been watching these for a while you know what's coming no Avocado toast and turkey bacon for breakfast. Terrible. I Avocado toast, dude. Absolutely atrocious. And I don't like the fork. I have the no fork creative stains. energy in the mornings. This is all that I can conjure. By the way, this specific turkey bacon, not Dang. good. Stay away from the butterball. Again, like, how are you going to tell me that shit is bad? But I, you you just told me you bodied that shit. I guess if, what, how far do we have to go for you to be like, yeah, you know, it's not, it didn't taste that good. So I didn't eat it. But you eat it anyway. Brand. You can't even abide Anyways, by your own that, rules. It was lazing around a little bit until it was time to meet Brittany for some early dinner. I water. ended up meeting her at the second cup in the village, but I cannot have caffeine past like 11 a.m. <laughs> so it was just a water for me. After that, we decided to walk around in the unseasonably warm weather and just pick some place to sit down and eat. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Why couldn't you just like sit down at the house and eat there? Wouldn't that be a lot better? Like you can actually contour the diet and then you can decide what you do and do not want to eat through that. I know a lot of people get upset when you're outside and they'll go, oh, wh where are we going to go eat? And I'm like, nowhere. What are you talking about? We're going to go home. We're going to go eat. And I get that's not favorable, but it's the best. It's the best because I'm not trying to spend 40, 40, 50 bucks on. And that's how much it is nowadays. Okay. Like if you're going out to eat with somebody, how much money is it? If you're going to McDonald's, if you're eating for two people, you're looking at 20 bucks. 20 25 dollars depending on what you're getting and if you're eating at an actual restaurant you're looking at easily 50 bucks easily 50 dollars because the meal okay the the sides the drinks okay you know all that shit together is like 50 dollars and that's ridiculous to me 50 dollars for what okay a meal that i can make at the house that's going to be way better but i understand the novelty of going out to eat and that's fine if you're dating somebody and they want to go out to eat and you want to treat them good as fuck or whatever you want to say you want to treat them uh you know like do you want to give them the princess treatment or the prince treatment? Is there such thing as a prince treatment? I don't I don't know how that works. But yeah, you want to give somebody the princess treatment. That works for guys and girls. You can give your boyfriend the princess treatment and you can give your girlfriend the princess treatment as well. Yeah, it's unisex. We had no idea if this place was going to be any good. All we saw was... Didn't even look at the Yelp review? Damn, it's a bunch of fat girls going out to eat, dude. That's just concerning. A real cute looking restaurant. We figured that was probably good enough. And thankfully, we ended up not totally regretting it. And honestly, if the only thing that I got on the menu that day was these pierogies, it would have been worth it. Pierogies. I don't know why pierogies aren't on menus first and foremost more often, but these were- She's doing the Amberlynn Reed thing where she eats for the first time and Amberlynn goes, oh my God, oh my God, whoa, Becky, Becky, oh my God, Becky, these are so good. Oh my God, Becky, this is so good. And Becky's just in the corner like, okay, Amber. All right, dude, I know you've eaten that shit like four times today. You know, I get it. I know it's good, but I, you're doing it for the video. Superb. I wish I had the words in my vocabulary to describe them. And then for the main course, I decided- The main course wasn't the pierogies, dude? Man, this is what I'm talking about, dude. You're sitting here getting appetizers. Who's doing appetizers? Let me know down below. Who's doing appetizers? You order an appetizers when you go out to eat? I would love to know that. Let me know, please, because I don't order appetizers. I never order appetizers. What I'll do instead is I'll eat the meal and then I'll leave. I'll order coffee. I'll order coffee, but that's it. I don't, I get a water and I get a coffee and then I get the food and then I leave and I'm not trying to get dessert that I know is going to be like 10,000 calories and I'm not trying to get appetizers, which are sometimes even more calories in the meal itself 
No, I'm not trying to do that. Nope. And I don't even go out enough to eat in general, to even order appetizers in a, like, a very frequent way in general. But she ordered pierogies, and they were good as fuck in her mouth, and now she ordered whatever this is. To just get some breaded fish. I think this was haddock, and it was also very, very good. 10 out of 10. I really wish I could remember the name of this place. One thing about recording these videos, I will say, I have become acutely aware of the faces that I make when I eat my food. <laughs> Apparently I look like I'm not enjoying myself, but genuinely everything tasted amazing and I would definitely go back here if I could just at least remember the name of it. After we finished eating, we let our- I, I hate it when people try to make themselves seem cute and then it's like, oh man. Like, you know, tell me, tell me I'm cute, obviously. Tell me, I'm cute, obviously, right? Me, I'm cute, me, am I cute? You're cute, you're obviously cute. But it's like a little cringy to be walking around with the Elton John glasses and, you know, try to like make it seem like you're super, super hot and cute Stomach like settled for a little bit. I stole my friend's sunglasses and took plenty of pictures and videos in them. Her sunglasses collection, by the way, is amazing. Oh, man, these, that's, that's not it, dude. These boots aren't it, dude. Damn. It's like everything from Amazon. And then it was just more exploring of that general area. Grabbed another water and then headed back home to make some not so light dinner. But I was starving by the time I got in. Okay, not and bad. Have you ever seen a man do this? Like if you if you come over to a guy's house, okay? If you're a woman or you're a gay man, if you come over to a guy's house and he's laying down on the bed, you come in and he's laying down on the bed and his feet are doing this behind him, right? Are you leaving? Are you, I feel like even a gay man would look at that and be like, nah, dude, that's gay as fuck, dude. What are you doing? What the hell? What do you want to do, do right now, bro? What are you going to like metamorphosize yourself into a woman right now? I just really feel like if you're a woman, you're leaving, right? And if you're a gay man, you probably turn straight because men can't do this pose. Men can't. It's, in, it's impractical for men to lay down like and this. And that was pretty much my night. That's enough. You ate a lot of food, dude. Why you have this terrible music? What I eat in a day is a fat person who doesn't want to lose weight and eats about 10,000 calories a day. I really hope this is not true. <laughs> Got the poison ivy in the in the background. Looks like poison ivy squirted in your room. And then I think this is a random antelope hanging from the, the ceiling. It's not bad. If she actually eats 10,000 calories a day, that's crazy. All right. Yeah, I'm already seeing it, dude. Yeah, I'm already seeing it, dude. Each one of these cookies is what? Uh, like a couple hundred, like uh, maybe a hundred at most, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, maybe 700, 800 underneath that. It's like 800 calories right there if she's eating a box, 100%. Body and that shit, dude. What is up with these nose piercings, dude? I'm sorry. They ain't, they're not it. Stop getting these nose piercings. One, two, and then she has this thing that's not even on center. It's, it's like going through the hair. It's stupid. It's dumb. Where'd you get this done in like... I have, like, fucking Kurt Cobain's underground basement. Like, where, where'd you get this shit done? That doesn't look appetizing. Looks like something, like, Shrek Shrek sneezed. Yeah, okay. She body slamming the entire bag. I can see, like, literally a couple hundred thousand, thousand calories at most. Yep. I mean, it's adding up, dude. It's adding up. Three slices of pizza. I think a slice of pizza is probably, like, 300 calories. So, 369 is about another thousand on top. At this point, she's probably on what? 3,000, 4,000 calories. Yeah, I can see it. 10,000. Damn, bro. You know, you even know how much you're, you even know how much you're eating. At least the other people can get off with, I'm ignorant. I don't know how much I'm eating. This person's outright telling you, yeah, I'm eating 10,000 calories. So what? What you going to do about it? Okay. Soda. Okay. I don't think that was 10,000 calories. That's probably like more like four to five. So, but still not so good either way. As a fat person that doesn't focus on weight loss. Baked beans on toast. An entire... You got an entire can of, of baked beans, dude? Did you at least warm them up? Oh, damn, dude. She... Okay. Jolly Jam ice cream. A grocery store vegetable. Yep. Somebody let me know if that's good, though. Because I used to know a girl that used to get that a lot. She was a pescatarian, and she said it was awful. Every time she went to the grocery store to get one of these, they would be terrible. And she would go to the Whole Foods where it was like $6 to get one of these, 6 or $7 to get one of these. And she would say every single time, it's bad. Don't ever get it. But she was like, but I'm a vegan. Or she was like, I'm a pescatarian, so I can't eat anything else besides this. So, you know, my life just sucks. And I'm always like looking at her like, damn, but you know, you don't have to eat that, right? There's other stuff. Pumpkin pies. Oh, sweet potato pie. What's better? Somebody let me know. 
pumpkin pie or sweet potato pie? I know a lot of black guys that are against pumpkin pie and they think that it's a white thing to eat pumpkin pie. It's not a white thing to eat pumpkin pie. I don't even like pumpkin pie myself. I'll eat it if it's there though. I personally like apple pie. Apple pie is my favorite or lemon meringue pie, which is never going to come up. Like you never, nobody ever makes lemon pie. So I'm always never, I'm never, I'm never anticipating lemon pie. And if I, if it's there, I'm like, oh bro, I'm about to literally bust right now. I'm about to literally bust right now off that lemon pie, but they never have it. It's okay. It's not bad. Corn is good. Love you too. Love you too. I eat in a day is a fat woman who does not want to lose weight. I started my day with Oh a damn, she actually did a pretty good job getting that, getting the cream cheese across. Bagel, it. here's me taking a couple bites and it was belly approved. Then a little bit later, I had some fried rice. I feel like I was eating fried rice last when I ate in a day. Mm. Damn. Then I had some water. I always forget to fill my water, but I probably drink three, maybe four of those a day. Have you ever like forgotten to, damn dude, what the fuck is this? These BBC corn dogs right here, the double stackers. You know what I'm talking about, dude? The two stacks, the one on top of another. If you, have you ever done this where you drank out of a water bottle that had water in it from like three days ago? Or maybe you forgot to wash out your 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 shaker? I've done that a few times, bro. I remember one time, I thought I was washing out my like shaker really, really well. But there was one time, bro, I washed it. And then I was like looking, I was like, wait, what the fuck is that? And there was like the crevice in between the top layer of the lid. It was like a crevice there, okay? And there was just black. It was just straight black all across it. And I was like, what? So I got like a fork and then I got like a paper towel and I like kind of weaved it on top. And I was like scraping all of the residue. And there had to have been civilizations growing in my protein shaker and I've been sucking them off. For I don't even know how long. Like I, I thought I had been washing it. I had my 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 shaker for like a year. So I was probably sucking on civilizations for at least eight months. Eight months. I was probably um helping grow straight up civilizations, people, societies. I was growing, but then I killed them all like Godzilla going through Japan in a matter of like five minutes. And then I double washed it. After I did that, I was like scraping it with the with the with the cloth and the sponge, and I was like making sure that it never. And now. When I, what now when I uh, wash everything, I'm like double looking, especially cooking, especially uh, coating all the, all the surfaces with soap. So we got the chung chungs for lunch. Uh, Damn, who's that dude? Big man, big okay, man. Okay, so I'm always double fisting them. Double stacking, crazy. <laughs> so here's what you gotta do. One bite of the, I got hot dog and mozzarella. And they don't, I want both at the same time. But they don't. That's crazy, bro. You can't say that, dude. You cannot say I need both of these in my mouth simultaneously, dude. You're going to be, that is crazy, bro. If this was any other context, people will be hitting you up like, yo, what you just say? Close your eyes when you hear that, all right? We're going to, real quick, we're going to run it back one more time. Close your eyes. Close your eyes when you hear this. Ready? Close your eyes. So we got the chung chungs for lunch. Okay, so I'm always double fisting them. <laughs> so here's what you gotta do one bite of the i got hot dog and mozzarella and they don't i want both at the same time but they don't offer that so damn damn mm -hmm. double body washing that shit is crazy bro mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well big man got a little bit extra mouth don't, don't look at my food and go, mmm, after I take a bite of that shit. That's crazy. First of all, dude, don't ever disrespect me like the that. cheese pull. <laughs> For dinner, I fried up some pierogies, and we also had some spicy curly fries, which are my favorite. And a salad. Also, these are really big portions. What isn't your favorite? Why do you even preference that with, it's my favorite? Does it matter? Me and my boyfriend just, like, use the same plates, and we just, like, pick off and share off the same thing. So, yeah. I'm 100% against that. Like, I have my own plate and you have your own plate. And that's that. Right? No, don't ask me for my food. You got your food. I made it for you. You wanted that. That's it. Don't, no. Don't ask me. Me going down me. on the pierogies. They are so good. And my favorite fries with uh, ketchup. Then I had some Greek feta salad. It's my favorite. We probably See, have like, it. Everything's your favorite. Why does it fucking matter if everything's your favorite? A couple times a week. Here's me going back for another bite. Damn. That's it for today. Please remember that you are so worthy to eat every day. Thanks. Thanks. Oh my God. Thank you, queen. Period. Slay. <laughs>
Hi friends, welcome back to another what I eat in a day as a fat person eating whatever I want because that's how I choose to live my life and I'm celebrating 15,000 followers. I love you guys so much. Let's so celebrate much. the 15,000 followers by eating thousands of calories. Man, I'm sorry. I gotta keep pointing it out. Did the last girl have a piercing? Can we look her back real quick? Uh, no, back. I don't think she has a piercing, dude. She has no piercing. Oh, I just realized she has a very weird. What is that? What is this? What did she do here? Why did she do that? Okay. She did. It's not bad. It's okay. It's okay. It looks okay. It looks okay. It's not bad. It, it's it's a good execution. It's it's good execution. I like it. But uh, at least it's not like, at least it's not like that overline from earlier. But look at these that piercings, person. dude. Why and why? Why do you? Why does everybody have piercings, man? Whatever I want because that's how I choose to live my life, and I'm celebrating. I love that people say that. Like this is how I choose to live my life. Like somebody that's smoking cigarettes every single day, and like you can't tell me what's why. I do whatever I want. It don't matter to me. I've been smoking since I was seven years old. You can't tell me nothing. I'm a grown man. I do what I want. Even though you tell that person, and they know <coughs> it's not good to be smoking all these cigarettes. In the same way that it's not good to be eating copious amounts of calories and would you ever take that advice from some like anybody else like listen to this ready even though i just literally sucked off four dudes in the back of that alley for 15 dollars to get money for crack this is how i live my life there's nothing wrong with that it's just how i live okay like what are you gonna say this is how i choose to live my life you ever gonna look at that and go yeah that makes sense yeah yeah, yeah that, that's totally fine that, that's totally okay in the same way that this woman could just easily say, because this is just the way I want to live my life. I just want to eat thousands of calories. What the fuck you going to do about it? Nothing, because this is just how I want to live my life. It just doesn't make sense in most other circumstances. Like, why do we forgive it here, but we don't forgive it in any, any other circumstance? It's just weird. 15,000 followers. I love you guys so, so much. Love you too. Let's eating. For breakfast, I had some okay. coffee. Yes, Bagels I mean, it's not bad. This is, this is like an okay breakfast. The bagel is probably like 230 calories. The cream cheese coating is probably like an extra 100, which is actually kind of crazy. Um, if it were me, I would have loaded way up more on the melon, dude. I would have killed it on the melon, and I would have took away maybe a, a bagel or two. And, yeah, keep the eggs. Eggs are great. Eggs are awesome. I, don't sleep on eggs. Eggs are like really low calorie for the amount of goodness that you get out of it. So I would 100% always go for the egg. The melon always good in my mouth. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. I'm a bona fide black man when it comes to melon. I know there are plenty of people out there that think that black guys notoriously eat watermelon, right? But I actually think it's the other way around. For me, I would I would probably dick down watermelon for a living if I could, dude. I love watermelon, dude. When it's summertime, you're seeing me body washing half a watermelon by myself in like an hour. I just love that full feeling after you're done eating that shit. And then you pee nine times right after because you just ate an extraordinarily large amount of food. That really wasn't a lot of food in comparison to what the food you just ate because you just digested it in like two seconds because most of it was water anyway. There's just something special about it, dude. I just love it, man. Um, but I did know a guy that told me that when he was like, when he was 14, him and his dad would go out into the, he had a watermelon patch and they would go out there and cut a hole in a watermelon, take turns on the watermelon, dude. And he told me that he did that shit before NASCAR. That's, he was like from Florida or some shit like that. I don't know, bro. I, I only knew this dude because I used to play a racing game with him and I thought, and like, for some reason, the racing game that I played, I guess the average age for the people that played that game were like 38 or 40. And I was like 12 at the time or 12 or 13 at the time. But it's okay because like I had already been telling people that their mothers were sucking me off and that it's okay. The point I'm making is like I was a delinquent. So I was, what I was hearing from this guy in all intents and purposes, he was just being a real one. But he had told me that him and his dad had gone into the watermelon patch and they had basically slid a hole. And they just like, oh, right in there together as like a, you know, like a father and son bonding moment or whatever. Usually when you hear that father and son bonding moment, you go... Oh, you know, you're working on the car together. Maybe you go hunting together. Maybe you catch a movie together. I don't ever hear like me and my dad fucked watermelons together. I never heard that before. But who am I to judge? You know, I mean, it's, it's up to people. It's up to it's up to you and your family how you do stuff. For lunch, right? I made myself a smoothie bowl, which is just frozen berries, milk, frozen berries, with ooh, honey, and honey. One of my favorite meals to make. Yeah, okay, and it's not bad. Cupcake Cupcakes snack. really not good at all. Damn, that's a lot of fucking tater tots. Jesus fuck. Tater tots and a chicken sandwich, and I 
ended my night with some sweetheart. Oh, it's a lot of fucking food, dude. What I what I really love about these people is that they're so forthcoming, but I feel like a lot of times they do lie because they'll sit there and go, no, I don't act. Like, I, th this is just what I eat in a day, right? And then you'll see it's not, it's not like that much in comparison to how much they actually weigh. So they're most definitely lying. <clears throat> but... I do enjoy these what I eat in day videos. They're so cringy and I love the people's how they can like try to excuse their uh, their eating habits as best they can. Those are my favorite people. Um, at least the people that are being upfront about it are like, yo, whatever, bro. It's just what I do. I just do this shit, whatever, like this woman did. But anyway, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I would appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things. I'd appreciate tremendously. Um, it all helps me grow in the algorithm. So if you could do that stuff for me, I would help you. I would, I would appreciate it a lot. I have memberships now. So if you want to become a member of my channel, you can. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in heart or a blue heart or a green heart or whatever heart that you want. If you have the emojis, you can do that. Or you just type in heart because I think that I heart you. I think I really heart you. I think I heart you a lot all the time, especially when you're sleeping and I can look upon you and see all that beauty emanating off of the pillow and the sheets. And I go, wow, look at that beautiful, beautiful, amazing person. I really heart that person. I really care. And I really heart that person. And I'm talking about you. I'm talking about how beautiful and amazingly awesome you are as a person so we have to celebrate you and i think next month which is uh what month is next month january february march in march no march april in april we'll celebrate you all month long we're going to do celebrations about how beautiful you are and how beautiful a person you are it's not just about the beauty that you emanate physically but it's about what you emanate i don't know like what's the, what's the underneath you like the personality the pheromones all that stuff we have to celebrate that but anyway, guys, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram and my Twitter and Discord server if you want to look at all that stuff. I have a second channel now with a whole bunch of stream clips and things like that. So if you want to watch that stuff, you can. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.